Army Recognition editorial team is in Karachi, Pakistan to cover the International Defense Exhibition IDS 2016. This is a very important event in the country. Pakistan needs to create new international relations to manufacture and develop defense and security products. Behind me is the Al Khalid main battle tank. This is a good example of the international relation of Pakistani development with international companies. This main battle tank is based on a Chinese main battle tank fitted with a Ukrainian engine. The name of the vehicle is Hamza 8x8. So it's basically a, a mixture of an MRAP and APC. And this type of vehicle is highly sought after in Pakistan these days especially. So we have the local market in mind, plus we have the export market as well. The whole vehicle has been completely 100% indigenously designed and developed in Pakistan. MRAP has uh, advantage of mine protection and ballistic protection. So this vehicle which you see here, it is as protected as MRAP, but at the same time it can carry up to 14 soldiers. Plus, this is an 8x drive line, so it is much more mobile than a normal MRAP. The axle which you are using here has a great uh, load carrying capacity. It's over 13 tons per axle. So the whole vehicle, gross vehicle weight, can go up to 50 tons. So we are very proudly representing over 15 tons of payload. So that is one of the strong points. The second strong point is that this vehicle has great internal volume. So if you can see, we have the space for 10, 10 troops plus commander, plus the gunner and the driver. So this is a huge space inside. You can have uh, many variants on that. The armament which you see now here is 30 millimeter cannon. This vehicle has great payload capacity. So that's why we are also offering 90 mm and even 105 mm gun on this. And uh, this is one of the strong point of the vehicle that it can take that much of load. This uh, Cougar was built in Pakistan in hardly in 10 to 12 days, from zero to finish. This vehicle has the mine proofing on the down. Its uh, fuel tank is also covered. All tires with the run flat with 50 kilometer emergency, they're gonna go. We have a winch service over here. If sometimes it's gonna be um, in the mud or the, uh, somewhere, so we have a backup tow system. Although we have a turret on this 360 all around, we have storage of six weapons inside in this vehicle. This is all time four by four. This is a four liter Toyota engine, which easily manual transmission, which easily maintain and after sale service parts available in Pakistan. But we are also providing two years, 40,000 kilometer warranty for each and every vehicle in Pakistan for all kind of armored cars, SUVs, luxury sedans. This is actually is easy, quick response vehicle. Uh, with emergency, you can have five inside and five, 10 people can carry with this. It has almost six to eight gun ports, so they can fire around from the vehicle inside. They can go for operation. It is also with the B6 level, can protect 7.62 into 39 and into 51 also and it is fully protected from the floor as well as from the back and we have put it the mine proof uh, down flooring which is actually for the grenades or some explosive also. My name is Raja Sabri Khan. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Integrated Dynamics. We've been involved in the production and design and research of UAV systems for the past 20 years now. And our main customers are the Government of Pakistan R&D organizations and the armed forces. This basically stemmed from the fact that when we started building UAVs in Pakistan, 
the technology of drones was not easily available. So we had to do a lot of stuff from scratch. So we made a whole range of UAVs from the very small tactical ones and the electric ones before we moved on to the larger high endurance, high altitude UAVs. The Dragonfly is a high endurance, high altitude electric UAV and is probably one of the only kind in the world which actually can fly four hours plus on lithium ion or hydrogen fuel cells. It used twin electric motors, it can carry six cameras and is entirely designed for civilian applications like search and rescue, mining, mapping and geophysical work. This is called the Arrow and uh, we felt that there was a need for developing an optionally piloted UAV which wouldn't have the expense in terms of development and R&D of making something which could carry a large payload. So we took an ultralight aircraft and basically converted it into an optionally piloted platform where you can fly it with a manned pilot or you can fly it in an autonomous mode, unpiloted. And we felt that this could be extremely useful in activities such as the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, monitoring convoys, monitoring railway tracks or pipelines, etc. because it has a 12 to 15 hour endurance. A time in the year is large. It is a compact, easy to use platform and it can carry about 150 kilograms of surveillance camera payloads. This is a, what we call a truck mounted system with a 52 caliber barrel um, suitably modernized for modern warfare. It has a semi-automatic laying system, automatic ammunition handling system so it can fire high rates of fire and it has very uh, quick into action times and out of action times. So it, su it supports uh, shoot and move uh, capabilities that is acquired in the modern army. The chassis is uh, the chassis from Tatra. It's an 8x8, very high mobility chassis with fully uh, independent suspension. Uh, central tire inflation system to make it mobile in, in soft sand conditions. And run flat inserts can also be inserted to keep it mobile at, uh, uh, when fired at. The main advantage is uh, accuracy and dispersion, which is very good with our latest range of uh, very accurate ammunition, the most modern ammunition you can get. And of course also the, the firing range, which is uh, 40 kilometers with base bleed ammunition, but we also have special ammunition which we call VLAP, which is a combination of rocket assist and base bleed, and it can fire up to a range of 54 kilometers. At EDS 2016, the International Defence Exhibition in Karachi, Pakistan, the Serbian company Yugampor presents for the first time outside of Serbia its wheeled self-propelled orbiter Nora B-52. This artillery system is fitted with 155mm orbiter mounted at the rear of a Kamas 8x8 military truck chassis. The turret with the 155mm orbiter is located at the rear of the vehicle with the gunner and the commander. There is an automatic loading system located at the rear of the turret with a total of 12 ammunition ready to fire in less than 4 minutes. There is 24 additional ammunition in a storage box located at the rear of the crew cabin. The turret and the crew cabin is protected against the firing of small arms 7.62mm caliber. For its self-protection, the vehicle is also armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The second armament of the Nora B-52 includes also a 20mm automatic cannon which can be used for training or against land targets. The Nora B-52 has a maximum firing range of 42km with standard ammunition and 55km with extended ammunition.